Well, hello there. How is everyone? I hope you're all well on this terrific, terrific Tuesday, and you're looking absolutely terrific as well, I may add. I may add. I hope you have a good day. But it doesn't start with very good news, I'm afraid. Now, some of you will have seen. Now, I don't know how people manage to stretch this out to like three and four hours, but we're going to get straight into the meat and potatoes as, like I say, it's not a very good start. We have remains found that is very, very likely the remains of Caleb Harris. Now, we'll just look at the a few of the reports that have come up, and then we'll just kind of conclude so you guys can get on with your day. Um, <laughs> yeah, this won't be three hours long, don't worry. So here we go. This is one of the news reports. Now, there isn't a lot of news. Now, what we have got to remember is that it takes a bit of time. They've said, it's been stated that it could potentially be later on today or even tomorrow before anything is confirmed. But this report just basically says, Corpus Christi, Texas, police have found human remains near the apartment of missing New Braunfels college student Caleb Harris. On Monday, Corpus Christi announced the discovery of the remains in a sewer. We'll touch more on that because there seems to be some mixed sort of thoughts on where he was actually found. But this is going to clear that up. Um, he's been missing since March 4th from his apartment where he attends Texas A&M Corpus Christi. Harris's father confirmed to us tonight that the remains were found in a sewer system and that there's no way for the remains to be pos positively identified at this time. And that's pretty much all that can officially be stated. Now, obviously, there's a page here, which is um, on Facebook, which has been covering this case from the beginning, and it says, human remains were found by a city employee in a deep well at a wastewater collection point located off of Lexington Road near South Padre Island Drive on Monday afternoon. According to Corpus Christi Police Department spokesman Antonio Contreras, the 40-foot deep wet well was drained of waste water so a fire department hazmat team could retrieve the remains. Um, so that's where he's seemingly been found. Um, some people have just pinned... Um, that that's not really anything to do with it, I don't believe. So this is a map showing where the last photo was taken by Caleb. And this is obviously the flow of water. So whether something happened here and he has flown down here. Um, but this is where the remains are found, where I'm just circling there. This is the pump station. And there's some open manholes that people have been taking photographs of as well. So people are speculating as to whether it was foggy that night. That it wasn't very clear. He'd obviously he was out in the dark walking about. Had he fallen down some access point that meant that he ended up in here? Obviously, there's going to be a few people who are going to think that did something happen to him and did someone place him in there? Which you know. But some of the commenters here, the remains were found inside the well of a dr wastewater lift station, not in the drainage ditch. Um, and you have the lift station in the middle of the field. It's a tad more west. Um, I usually share remains were found in the ditch. So, so this is where the confusion was, you see, where people thought that he was found in like a drainage ditch. Um, it seems to be like a pumping well of some description. There's some pictures of the situation there let's um close that off and we've obviously got some comments that are, that are wishing the family obviously real well at this time i would like to ask that everyone pray for harris's family and their community the many volunteers who have given um county hours of their time um someone's thanking tony mathis um and the admin and monitors of this group um this is sad time you know what I mean? But I think that most of us believed that this was potentially going to have, sadly, a sad ending. Um, you know, when people go missing, you know, you have hope at the beginning. Like, there's still people missing, like Summer Wells, like Michael Vaughan, for instance, um, Oakley Carlson. 
there's lots of missing people. There's lots of missing people, and we we want to hold on to hope. You know, Sebastian Rogers. But as time progresses, sadly, the that hope that something positive is going to happen starts to dwindle away. Um, and you know, this was a mystery for a little while with regards to Caleb. What happened to him? You know, he was seen outside his property. Um, they'd obviously gone and walked the dog, gone back in, he'd ordered food, he was going to be going fishing the following day, um, and he goes for a walk, takes a picture, seemingly from an area that correlates with where he was found, almost like he'd taken a picture and then something happened at that point, and the rest is kind of history, but I, I guess... In the next few days, we will hear, you know, it's eerily similar to, you know, to, to other cases, you know, Riley Strain, for instance, where he, different kind of things surrounding it, but to disappear, body of water, found a few weeks later, and that you're always left with that question. Nicola Bully, for instance, you know, you're always left with that question, how did they end up in there? Did someone push them in something? Did they get into an altercation and it ended up with them going in there? Or was this misadventure? Was this just simply an accident? You know, just just a real tragic, tragic accident. Um, we'll all have thoughts and feelings. I'm sure the speculation mill will, will roll over the next few hours, potentially days. But I think it's important at this time to take a few moments just to real think about Kayla's family. I'm sure this is certainly not the outcome that they were hoping for. I believe that for a little while there was hope that perhaps he'd ran off somewhere, he'd gone with somebody. There was some comments made about other social media posts and whether he had arranged to meet up with somebody. You know, is there going to be something brought up that this was connected to it? I believe that there was um, a, a law enforcement update not that long ago that had said that they were getting real close to solving this case through the use of cell phone, something to do with the cell phone. Not 100% sure, but it, I think a few people had insinuated that that law enforcement perhaps were looking in the wrong direction. Um, I don't know whether there's any mention of it on here. Let me just see whether I can find it. Um, there's also been some mention, I will say, that um, people have pointed out some of the mediums, you know, some of the, the people who do, you know, these card readings and things like that had actually quite accurately um, noted where Caleb would likely be located. So for those skeptics out there, you know, I'm... I'm always open to things. I've had experience with card readers and so on and so forth in the past, and some of them can be airily accurate. And um, it seems that some of them were actually quite airily accurate around this. Now, was it just that it was an obvious thing that he was going to be found in this manner? And again, did the hope that he would be found well sort of, you know, take us away from what we ultimately should have been considering who knows we'll never know in hindsight but anyway i hope you're all well have a fantastic fantastic tuesday stay looking amazing and i'll catch you all in the next one